A handout image made available by the Odessa City Council Telegram channel on July 24, 2022, shows Ukrainian firefighters battling a fire on a boat burning in the port of Odessa after missiles hit the port on July 23, 2022. AFP Russia said Sunday that its missile barrage on a Ukrainian port central to a landmark grain export deal had destroyed Western-supplied weapons, after the attack sparked an outcry from Ukraine's allies. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov was embarking on a tour of several countries in Africa and on his first stop in Egypt sought to reassure his counterpart Sameh Shalkri that Russian grain supplies would continue. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky denounced Saturday's strike on the Odessa port as Russian barbarism, coming just one day after the warring sides struck a deal to release exports from the facility. Turkey helped broker the accord and said immediately after the double cruise missile hits that it had received assurances from Moscow that Russian forces were not responsible. But Russia's defense ministry rolled back on the denial Sunday, saying the strikes had destroyed a Ukrainian military vessel and arms delivered by Washington. High-precision, long-range missiles launched from the sea destroyed a docked Ukrainian warship and a stockpile of anti-ship missiles delivered by the United States to the Kiev regime, it said. A Ukrainian army repair and upgrade plant has also been put out of order. The strikes have cast a shadow over the milestone accord that was hammered out over months of negotiations and signed in Istanbul to relieve a global food crisis. Russian Grain Commitment Cereal prices in Africa, the world's poorest continent where food supplies are critically tight surged because of an export slump. Lavrov, who will visit Uganda, Ethiopia and Congo Brazzaville on the tour, told Shaukri that Russia would meet grain orders. We confirmed the commitment of Russian exporters of cereal products to meet their orders in full, he said in a press conference. Zelensky said the strikes on Odessa showed Moscow could not be trusted to keep its promises and that dialogue with Moscow was becoming increasingly untenable. Under the deal, brokered by Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and United Nations Chief Antonio Guterres, Odessa is one of three designated export hubs. Ukrainian officials said grain was being stored in the port at the time of the strike, but food stocks did not appear to have been hit. Guterres, who presided over the signing ceremony Friday, unequivocally condemned the attack. The United States meanwhile said it cast serious doubt over Russia's commitment to the deal. There was no response from Moscow until Sunday, but Turkish Defense Minister Hulusi Akar said before that Russia had denied carrying out the attack. The Russians told us that they had absolutely nothing to do with this attack, he told state news agency Anadolu. Odessa officials said the strikes wounded people without specifying the number or severity of the injuries. The first major accord between the countries since Russia's February invasion of Ukraine aims to ease the acute hunger the UN says an additional 47 million people are facing because of the war. The deal includes points on running Ukrainian grain ships along safe corridors that avoid known mines in the Black Sea. Kherson liberated by September Huge quantities of wheat and other grain have been blocked in Ukrainian ports by Russian warships and the mines Kiev laid to avert a feared amphibious assault. Zelensky has said around 20 million tons of produce from last year's harvest and the current crop would be exported under the agreement, estimating the value of Ukraine's grain stocks at around $10 billion. Diplomats expect grain to only start fully flowing by mid-August. The agreement in Istanbul has brought little reprieve on the battlefield where Russian forces were carrying out bombardments across the sprawling front line over the weekend, Ukraine's presidency said Sunday. It said among attacks in the industrial east and south, for Russian cruise missiles Saturday had hit residential areas in the southern city of Mykolaiv, injuring five people, including a teenager. In a devastated village near Ukraine's southern front line Stanislav, a 49-year-old who joined Ukraine's armed forces after Russia's invasion, said many people were afraid. But what can we do, we need to defend our homeland, because if I don't do it then my children will be forced to do it, he said. 
an official in the nearby Kherson region in the south said a Ukrainian counteroffensive for the territory captured early in the invasion would be over by September. We can say that a turning point has occurred on the battlefield. We are switching from defensive to counteroffensive actions, Sergei Klon, an aide to the head of Kherson region, said in an interview with Ukrainian television. Russian missiles hit the major port of Odessa in southern Ukraine on Saturday, the Ukrainian military said, dealing a blow to a deal signed on Friday to unblock grain exports from Black Sea ports. The landmark deal signed by Moscow and Kiev on Friday is seen as crucial to curbing soaring global food prices, easing a supply crunch by allowing certain exports to be shipped from Black Sea ports including Odessa. UN officials had said on Friday they hoped the agreement would be operational in a few weeks but it was not yet clear if that would still be possible given Saturday's strikes. The enemy attacked the Odessa Sea trade port with caliber cruise missiles, Ukraine's operational command South wrote on the Telegram messaging app. Two missiles hit infrastructure at the port, while another two were shot down by air defense forces, it said. Ukraine's foreign ministry called on the United Nations and Turkey, which mediated Friday's deal, to ensure that Russia fulfills its commitments and allows free passage in the Grain Corridor. The U.S. ambassador to Kiev, Bridget Brink, called the strike outrageous. The Kremlin continues to weaponize food. Russia must be held to account, Brink wrote on Twitter. Russia's defense ministry did not immediately reply to a Reuters request for comment. A blockade of Ukrainian ports by Russia's Black Sea fleet since Moscow's February 24 invasion of its neighbor has trapped tens of millions of tons of grain and stranded many ships. This has worsened global supply chain bottlenecks and, along with Western sanctions on Russia, stoked food and energy price inflation. Russia and Ukraine are major global wheat suppliers, and the war sent food prices soaring. A global food crisis has pushed some 47 million people into acute hunger, according to the World Food Programme. Friday's deal seeks to avert famine in poorer nations by injecting more wheat, sunflower oil, fertilizer and other products into world markets including for humanitarian needs, partly at lower prices. UN officials said on Friday the deal, expected to be fully operational in a few weeks, would restore grain shipments from the three reopened ports to pre-war levels of 5 million tons a month. Under the deal, Ukrainian officials would guide ships through safe channels across mined waters to three ports, including Odessa, where they would be loaded with grain. Moscow has denied responsibility for the crisis, blaming Western sanctions for slowing its own food and fertilizer exports and Ukraine for mining the approaches to its Black Sea ports. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Friday the deal would make around $10 billion worth of grain available for sale with roughly 20 million tons of last year's harvest to be exported.